Yo, what up? This is Tom Tom, and I just want to say welcome back to me. I just got back off a very hectically long tour, um, so I'm going to start getting back into the swing of things, making videos, and I thought I would kick things off with a little bit of a tutorial, a brand new sound that I've been trying to refine, but I thought I'd just throw it out there into the world and you guys can learn it with me. It's a new scratch I came up with called the Buzz Scratch, but I'm also tempted to call it the Popeye Scratch because it definitely has some of the most intense facials you'll ever see in a beatbox video. So apologies for that. Technically, this is a polyphonic scratch, which means there are multiple layers to the sound, uh, which gives it a nice degree of realism. To show you what I mean, I want to kick it off with a little bit of a jam. Uh, if you've got headphones, please chuck them on because there's a lot of detail on the bottom end that I don't want you to miss out on. Um, and I'm going to keep the beat really simple so it's nice and clear. Alright, check it out. Your head hasn't gone bright red by the end of this, you're doing it wrong. So now that you've seen me at my point of absolute exertion, I thought I would take the time to break down the layers. The first, which I guess is the fundamental element and probably the most obvious, is this sound. So basically, the way this sound works, I'm putting my tongue up against my top row of teeth, and then I'm forcing my bottom lip up against the hole that the air is coming out of. So I'm going... Like this. So weird, right? You should be able to do that. So when it's all combined, it sounds like this. So when you've got that sound, you'll realize that it has a note, uh, a pitch. Not necessarily a pleasant one, but it has one. And that's what I use to harmonize with. Uh, but first of all, I'll explain some of the scratches I do with it. Just by flicking my tongue back and forth against my teeth. Like ticka 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 ticka. And you'll notice that now you've got that sound, it really helps to push out a lot of air. Um, it gives you much more definition in the sound. By the end of this, you'll realize how much exertion you're putting into the sound. Calculate your breaths, because that is seriously, seriously important to your well-being. All right, so now you've got that down, we want to add in the harmonic. The reason I love this sound so much is because you can get multiple layers. Uh, and given that this sound has a pitch and it's not a vocal sound, you can harmonize with it. So I like to put a bass below it. Bass for me is the most logical because it really, really separates the layers. You put a vocal bass uh, <coughs> underneath it. And then you get this. Once you start to open your lips to control the top layer, you can hear a different tonality to the sound. So can sound like this. I really encourage you to start experimenting with a whole bunch of different lip positions because you can find some really cool sounds in the way that your lips vibrate. That was disgusting. Once you start understanding the concept of harmonizing with the fundamental, it doesn't have to be in bass. It can be in upper octaves as well, uh, whistle tone or falsetto or even in unison. Top one hurts, man. Probably just don't do that. Wow! Once you start to get the hang of all the staccato rhythms, the... You can start to add little scratch flourishes in there as well, like... 
That's just me going, just uh, opening and closing my mouth to stop the sound. Another thing I like to add in there is this sound. Basically, all I'm doing is putting my tongue up against the back of my teeth and going and then I'm really forcing a lot of air out and applying that technique so it sounds like and then you can put it into your scratch patterns. Unfortunately, one of the problems with this sound is it kind of gets lost when there's a whole lot of different stuff going on. But there are certain things you can do to emphasize each layer for recording purposes or for performing. And that generally involves channeling the sound. One thing that I've found is super useful is channeling the sound through my hand, making a mouthpiece out of your fingers and your thumb like this and uh, just putting it over the side where the sound is coming out. You'll notice that a lot of your bass is coming out of your nose, so you can really channel this sound. <clears throat> and to do the opposite, you just sort of block the sound out with your hand uh, and so you hear more of the bass. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna stop now before I pass out. Anyways, that's pretty much all I got for this technique. It is so fresh, um, but if you did nail it, let me know in the comments below. If you came up with a variation, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but most importantly, if it starts to hurt, please stop doing it. I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you what's going on. Just be responsible. Just chill. Just relax. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.